Hello. Hi guys, how are you doing? God bless you. How's family? How's life? Praise the Lord. The Lord is good all the time. Amen. I pray that the grace of God will continue to be with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Today, by God's grace and by the help of the Holy Spirit, our challenge and word from the Lord is going to be found from in John 10, 27. Praise the Lord. And the title is Pastor's Hero. Pastor's Hero. My brothers and sisters, many people today are still walking in deception and um, error because of their pastors. Yes, they have made their pastor God. They have put their pastor in the position of God. Yes. They have already replaced God in their mind with their pastor. They've replaced God with their pastors. Yes, they might be saying, oh, I'm serving God. But in the actual fact, they have replaced God with their pastors because they still believe the word of their pastors than what the scriptures say or than what Prophecies are saying, even through the scriptures. Yes. They would not listen to any prophecy and test the spirit and go to the Lord personally to ask the Lord. Rather, they will listen to what the pastor has to say. We are going to read from John 10, 27. See, God has been putting this in my heart that many people are still going to be misled to fall away and to take the mark because they are listening to their pastors. They are not coming to the Lord themselves, studying the scripture themselves and searching by the help of the Holy Spirit if what their pastors have been preaching is the truth, is the life, is if it's by the Spirit. Or by the flesh. They are not testing their pastor's spirit. The Bible says, test all spirit. Let's look at John 10, 27. The Bible says, my sheep hear my voice. And I know them. And they follow me. This is our Lord Jesus Christ. He said, my sheep hear my voice. Do you hear his voice? Is he talking to you? Are you following him? Does Jesus know you? Or you are just going to the church or claiming that you're, you're a Christian, you're a believer. Are you still following Christ or you're following um, pastors? We need to examine our lives. There was a time where when... Um, to the church and my pastor was preaching something uh, not scriptural it was kind of so subtle I didn't really get it too and I was believing in that oh that's cool and I didn't even bother to go back to the scripture to check when I got home and I was just lying down the Lord came to me and begin to rebuke me like, you believe that lie? Get up! Pick your Bible and open to so 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 place. The Lord told me, and to the glory of God, ah, and I now understand the scripture, and I now understand that passage that the pastor was wrong. My brothers and sisters, we need to draw closer to God. The Bible calls all of us priests of God. Priests. We are all believers and we are priests. We have the Spirit of God in us. Yes, thank God for the pastor. Thank God for our leaders in the church. 
God wants us to honor them and to respect them and to listen to what they say, but not do what they do. Yes, especially what they are doing is not after Christ. God wants us to still come back to him and search the scripture like the people in Berean, the Berean Christian, the Bible, um, the scripture commended them that whenever Paul, as powerful as anointed, has a um, um, sound as Apostle Paul was, whenever he preached to the Berean Christians, they will go back to the world. They will go back to the Lord themselves and search diligently whether those things he was preaching, whether they are true. My brothers and sisters, we need to really fear God and wake up. Have I been listening to my pastor? Have I been making my pastor uh, God unknowingly? We need to wake up. When last did you check your scriptures? The last message your pastors preach, when last did you search it in the scripture? I'm like, let me also look at this passage and um, pray about it. Holy Spirit, is this what this passage is really saying? Hmm. Remember, each one will stand before the Lord, the throne of God, in the judgment day. And you can't say, oh, he's my pastor. All right, what about you? What did you do about the message your pastor preached? What did you do with it? Did, did you go back to search the scripture? Praise the Lord that we all have the scripture today. Then the believers, they didn't have all the scripture to them. No, they were only in part that they will give to each church, then they will copy it, they will pass it around, and they will read it to them. Yes. We, we have Bibles today, so many versions, so many copies, in so many ways, yet we are still lazy to come to the Lord and search the scripture and we, we, we submit our life to the pastor, our eternity, <clears throat> our salvation to the ends of pastors, they are even, they make mistakes. The Bible says we know in part and we prophesy in part. Don't trust in the pastor. Don't trust in me. Let's trust in God. The Bible says woe to him who trusts in man. When you listen to messages, go to the Lord. Search his house by your spirit. Go to the scripture and see if these things really is the truth. Such a spirit and let the Holy Spirit guide you to the truth. Pray to the Lord and then the Lord will give you peace if it's really by, by Him and you will know that this really is the truth. Praise the Lord. So God has been saying many, many, many people are going to fall away because they've been living on their pastor's faith and not their own personal faith and relationship with God. Because they've been listening to their pastor's messages without examining it by the Spirit themselves to see whether this is truly from God. Because they've been following their pastors all over on the internet, on uh, Instagram, on Facebook, name it. They will ask him, what do you think about this? Instead of them taking it to the Lord and praying. And they will agree with whatever the pastor says. Even if it's contrary to the, the word of God. Hmm. We need to wake up and seek the Lord for ourselves. Praise the Lord. Pastors need our prayers too. They are human beings. They don't know everything. Yes. They also go to the Lord. And sometimes they get distracted. They get distracted. 
Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. In other words, Paul is saying, as soon as I'm not, I'm not following Christ, don't just move back and continue to follow Christ. He said, if somebody else, even if it's we or an angel, is, is preaching something contrary, another gospel to you, it, Paul said, cost me that person. See, because Paul know, he knows the, 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 the weight of this issue, deception. He knows that it could lead to eternal damnation. That's why he's saying, he's saying that you need to uh, examine and test all spirits. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we will all give account. Paul, in Galatians 2, 11 to 13, he was rebuking Peter and Barnabas and some of the apostles because of their hypocrisy. Yes, among the Gentiles. Paul says, before some apostles came from Jerusalem, they were doing well. They were relating very well with the Gentiles. Like, we are all one. We are brothers in Christ. But as soon as they see some people from the other end, they changed. They stopped eating with them. And Paul called them to order. Even though Paul was a younger uh, to them in uh, apostleship, and um, in um, following Christ but by the grace of God it took boldness courage to to withstand them to correct them to bring them to their hero like you guys you are being hypocritical why are you behaving this way and you are preaching to the Gentiles to, to be uh, like children of God when you are behaving contrary see those are the apostles. They made mistakes. They got into uh, error. But thank God for Paul, who bring them back to their senses, to the right path. So, my brothers and sisters, your pastor could be walking in error. And if you personally don't go to the Lord and seek the Lord, and um, let the Holy Spirit open your eyes to see that, ah, this is not right what the pastor has been saying is not right this is really actually the truth and you pray about it you can even pray for your pastors that god will open his eyes or you go to him and say pastor see i've prayed about this and i've studied the scripture this is what uh, the holy spirit lays on my heart concerning this you will help your pastor to get out of his hero praise the lord and if he listens to you God bless him. And if he doesn't, you keep praying. But you hold on to the truth that you have received from the Lord by the Spirit of God. My brothers and sisters in Christ, many are out there falling into error, taking the mark, believing their pastor's word. Because the pastor, for now, is still sleeping. Yes, this is the night time. The Bible talks about the um, ten virgins that at, at a point all of them slept. Yes. Even me, I was sleeping until God woke me up like, it's night cry. Wake up. This is what is happening. You are, <laughs> you are the last generation. The like, what? Last generation. How this COVID and stuff really, God used it to open my eyes. Praise the Lord. I remember um, last year before the COVID, the Lord began to question my heart. What will happen to the church? What will happen to the church? Is, are, they, are people going to still be worshiping me? Worshiping me? Are people going to still be seeking me? I didn't understand. I didn't know the Lord was trying to wake me up to, like, something is going to happen, God. You better wake up. Huh. Until things began to happen and churches were shutting down. They began to shut the churches down. I'm like, Lord, praise God. And I'm like, what am I going to do, Lord? Hmm. He now gave me his word. Ephesians 6.10, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. And we really need to get closer to God this time. Seek me, look, at, look unto me. That's what Jesus is saying. When you begin to see all these things happening, 
Look up. Look up. Because your salvation is nearer than you first believed. So now we should look up more. In fact, yes, we should continue to look up. And not looking at, unto any, any man. Jesus was telling the disciples, listen to the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Those are your religious teacher. Listen to what they say. But don't do what they do. Don't do their works because their works is not of God. Ah, my brothers and sisters, it, it saddens me because recently I was still talking to a pastor about this um, jab. And he still said, oh, there's nothing wrong in it. People can take it. I'm like, what? Have you prayed about it? He didn't pray about it. He's just um, using his own mind, his own wisdom to calculate it. And the devil has gone ahead. Is, is doing is rolling everything out one by one when we look at the revelation talks about the names of the beast then the mark then the number and also the image you know four different ways to get it just different packages huh. and this is the first one the name but people are still not getting it <sighs> can you see the ends are reading, it's reading on the wall. Know this, know that. Know job, know this. Isn't that what the scripture says? Let's wake up. Are you Jesus' sheep? Do you hear his voice? Does he know you? Are you following him? Or following your pastors? Let's wake up and begin to seek the Lord for every area of our lives. I pray the Lord God will grant us the grace to continue to seek Him more, to leave all those things we are chasing in the world and seek God more now because our eternity depends on it. If you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, please repent of your sins and believe that Jesus died for your sins and God raised Him from the dead and you will be saved. Be baptized and begin to follow Jesus Christ in obedience daily. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. God bless you.